whereabouts are you based in London? We have branches all over the city, so like... Um, like Kilburn, Ealing, but I've just moved into Ealing, so... Oh, nice, we have a branch actually out in Ealing. Um, so you got to watch out for? About uh, 10 or so. Uh, socialist appeal, mate. Causing trouble. Huh? Causing trouble. Causing trouble? Yeah, yeah. You don't look like a trouble causer? You look like Ippy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, here, here, mate. Not having it, boys, is he? Yeah, have you got one, boys? This is the sort of place you can't say love. Excuse me, would you talk or do a little talk while you're here today? Yes. Yeah, certainly. Would you mind standing there? Yeah, fine there. All right. Okay. My name's Jim. Hello, Jim. I'm Jane. Nice to meet you. Jane. What brings you here today, Jane? Are you sure? Are you recording that? Sorry? Are you going to record that as well? Yeah. There? Yeah, okay, yeah. so. Right. Here's my. Are you a parent? I am a parent, yes. So I'm here for your children too. Right, but why? Because honestly, we have to act as well. We cannot be at home sitting and cheering the but, people who are here. Okay. And but, we don't want the police to say no to us, the government or whatever. But, but why do you feel this way? Why do you believe that to be so? I believe that we have the right to stop this kind of, you know, Avoiding to see. Right. Let's stop the blindness. Right. I'm here because I'm not blind. Right, okay. So I wanna be a nicer human. Are you aware of the IPCC's R um, R six report, the new report? Yes, and now that Have you read it? Not entirely. Not entirely. Do no, you know how many pages it is? Probably a lot. Yeah, it's Hundred like, and it's no, it's like three and a half thousand. Okay, no. No? I didn't read it. So. No. No. So that leads me back to my original question. Okay. Why are you here today? I'm here today again to help people to protest. To help people to protest. Exactly. Just to fill up the numbers. No. no? To be here as well. To be here as well. For what exactly. reason though? They've written a report. Yes. But you haven't read it. Not entirely. My how kids are much more politics than I am. Right. So that's why I'm here. I think you're here because your feelings and your emotions bring you here and you're worried. But you haven't got good reason to worry. You've been you've been propagandized into believing that there's something wrong. There is something wrong. Okay, and how do you know there this? There is something and wrong. And how do you know this? How I notice I'm Brazilian. I've seen what they are doing in terms of exploitation there. Yeah. So that's, I do that's an that, 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 that's, that's a systemic problem. That's not that's not nothing to do with the weather and the change in the climate. Are you sure? What, the way that they're, uh, the way that they're taking... Killing the, people there. Yeah, yeah no, no, but you said, exactly. what was the word that Minas you used? actually has been one of the most affected states because of climate change in Brazil. But you, but you said the way that they was exploiting people. That yes. was the word you used. Yes, exploitation. exploiting our, Exploiting you know, people, you said though. Yes, in Brazil there is an exploitation yeah, but I of the to see, I, I and all the rich people doing the same as we are seeing here and everywhere. Exploitation of people and that's that's what's happening there. I don't know if you have been in a third country, but the situation that isn't good. Right. So many people. So is it about equity? It's about equity, it's about rights to have the same rights as everybody who has housing, food. Right. But you don't think geographical location on the earth where you place, you don't think that has a part that's like you can't you can't div, you can't give people equity when they're not born in equal climates. Brazil's always had a different climate to the UK. No, I'm not talking about the difference of the climate, I'm talking about the disasters of the climate there. The disasters of the exactly. climate. Exactly. The rain that has been, you know, devastating my state. The rain. Okay. It never did rain like that. It never, never did. ever. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. And do you And why? You know, a place where I live, now all the houses are coming down with the water that's coming with the Do you know mud. anything about cloud seeding? No. No? Right, well, it may interest you. It may, like, you might find it interesting if you've done some research into it as to what the rain's all about. Well, the rain is all about because the climate has been changed. I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to read something that says that, where it can prove that. Okay. 
but That's see, up to you your reading. Yes, but I, I've, I've started to read the new report. I read the. I tried to read the last one as well, and all I'm seeing in the new report is just reference to the old figures, the the old, what they call them, um, well, when they predictions because it's all done in a prediction. The ho uh, the hockey shit, the hockey stick. So you are saying that during the quarantine, all the difference of the pollution is also 5%. a mistake. They dropped five percent. Well, that's a mistake. What do you mean? I mean, you know, no flies, no cars. That's what happened and surely is a mistake. It's a, like fake news. Yeah, what? we stopped to dim, damage and pollute the air. The air gets better and it's not us. So it's what? It's unfair. It's unfair. Life is unfair. Life is unfair. That's the exactly. point. Exactly. That's the point. Exactly. And, you know. Born in South America in a poor area, you would know. Oh, well, thank you very much for your yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs>